Hi guys, today I show you the Basilica of St. Peter's. Let's go! The paving of the square is made of San Pietrini, or cobblestones, which is the typical paving of the historical center. The square was made by the famous artist Gian Lorenzo Bernini, between 1656 and 1667, under Pope Alexander VII. The size of the square is extraordinary, it's 320 meters deep and half a diameter of 240 meters. The square can accommodate 300,000 people. And in the center of the square we have the Vatican obelisk. It was made of Egyptian red granite with a height of 25 meters. It was erected here in the square by the Pope Sixtus V in the year 1586. And right on the side of the square are two fountains, called the Twin Fountains, one built in 1614 and the other in 1657, both fed by an ancient Roman aqueduct. The Pope Alexander VII commissioned Bernini the Colonnade Portico in 1657. With a noble shape, the square is surrounded by two semicircular colonnades of 284 columns of 16 meters each. The balustrade on the columns is crowned by 140 statues of saints, Pope and Doctor of the Church of 3.20 meters high. The columns are organized in four rows to create three lanes. The central lane is the entrance and could be passed with cart, while both sides could only be walked. The colonnade were used to shelter and welcome the faithful who went on pilgrimage to the tomb of the Apostle Peter. We've already passed the security check and we are walking to the basilica. We see on the right side the royal staircase, which connects the square with the Vatican palaces. It was made between 1662 and 1666. It is more or less 60 meters and always guarded by a Swiss guard. So now we are walking and from here we are able to see the majestic facade of the Basilica Luke. The main facade of the church is 115 meters wide and 46 meters high. It was built by the architect Carlo Maderno between 1607 and 1614. Giant columns were used to frame the entrance and in the center is the balcony of the blessing, a place where the election of the new pope is announced to the faithful. This church was built on the site of another ancient basilica, the 4th century basilica of Constantine. The construction of the current building, the building you see, began in April 1506 by order of the Pope Julius II. It took over 150 years to complete. When the Colosseum fell into ruins and was abandoned, the monument was looted of its precious materials, such as marble and travertine. 
These were recycled and reused to build the palaces of the popes. Many blocks were used to build the square and the loggia of St. Peter. So the door you see is a very special door. It's the holy door. It was made in 1950 by an Italian sculpture. It is special because it's open only once every 25 years or every jubilee. During the jubilee, the Pope grants special indulgence to the faithful who come here and pass through the door. We are in the atrium of the Basilica. It is 71 meters long, and it's considered one of the masterpieces of the architect Maderno. On the right, we have the five axic doors to the temple, and in the vault, you can see the decoration of bas relief with the life of St. Peter's and St. Paul. So this is the central gate of the church, La Porta del Filarete. It was uh, belong to the ancient Basilica of Constantine. It was kept, it was adapted and placed here in the new Church of St. Peter. So we are finally inside the basilica. Now we are in the central nave. Inside the basilica is divided into three nave, separated by enormous pillars of 40 meters. The central nave is 187 meters long and 45 meters high. St. Peter's Basilica is capable of house 20,000 people. And once inside the church, just on the right, we can see the famous Pieti of Michelangelo. It's a Carrara marble sculpture. It was made by the artist when he was only 25 years old, in 1499. A curiosity, this is the only statue Michelangelo signed in his life. It is located behind a bulletproof glass, because in 1972, a crazy man with a hammer hit the statue. 
The decoration of the church is incredible. For example, you see the columns that are decorated with colored marbles. You can see cherubs that hold portraits of some popes, and at the base, a dove that is the symbols of arm of Pope Innocent X. It was the Pope who commissioned Bernini the decoration of the church. And this is the chapel of Saint Sebastian. It is decorated with a great mosaic of the martyrdom of the saint, and in the altar is located the tomb of Jean Paul II. So now we are back here in the central nave and from here you can see the apse of the basilica. Notice the paving of the basilica. Beautiful paving decorated with um, um, Asian element of um, colorful marbles that belongs to the Asian basilica of Constantine. This is an ancient statue of Saint Peter. It is from the 13th century and tradition says if you pass in front of a statue and kiss his foot, you will come back to the church. Saint Peter is considered the first pope of the church. That's why on the day of the saint, the 29th of June, Saint Peter is dressed like a pope. So we are getting near to the main altar. What you see now is the great canopy of Bernini. This monumental baldacchino or canopy was conceived by the genius of Gian Lorenzo Bernini. It was erected between 1624 and 1633. It was made of bronze taken from the Pantheon and is almost 30 meters high. Imagine, like a 10-story building. And below the canopy is located the main altar, used only by the Pope. And down below is located St. Peter's tomb. That's why the church carries his name. And above the canopy we see the cupola of Michelangelo. It is a symbol of this city. It was designed by the artist. It is 133 meters high and 41.50 in diameter. Four colossal statues made by Bernini and his students are placed on the large pillars that support the dome. The first statue is St. Andrew, it's Peter's brother, with his cross. We have as well St. Veronica, with her veil that shows Jesus' face. Next we have St. Longinus, with his spear. And last we have St. Elena, the mother of Constantine. In the background we see the monument dedicated to the Church of St. Peter, which is a wooden throne. It is um, preserved as a relic in St. Peter's Basilica within an enormous Baroque composition designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The basilica is decorated with a lot of statues, statues dedicated to important saints, benefactors of the church and popes. We have funeral monuments, many of them are cenotaph, 
uh, it means that are empty and we have as well many relics so walking through the basilica you will see some um, bodies of important popes you can see the funeral monuments of Pope Alexander VII. It's an example of uh, Baroque style and it was designed by Bernini. He was the Pope who commissioned the artist the colonnade outside in the square. Gregory XIII believed strongly in education. He was responsible of fixing the Julian calendar. So he introduced the Gregorian calendar, the official calendar that is used in the majority of the countries. We see the monuments in honor of Gregory I. Thanks to him, we have the Gregorian chant. And in this chapel, we see a copy and mosaic of the transfiguration of Raphael. And at the bottom, we can see the relic of the Pope Innocent XI. Not all the monuments in the basilica are of Baroque style. We can see the funeral monument dedicated to the Stuart family. It's made in marble di Carrara by the neoclassical artist Antonio Canova. So my dear guests, we are leaving the St. Peter's Basilica, now we go down the stairs and you can notice on the right we have two men uh, dressed with a colorful uniforms, they are the Swiss Guard, the personal guard of the Pope and the Vatican State. I hope you like this video. If you like it, don't forget to give me thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video and let me know in the comments what you want for the next one. This is Gabby the Guide and this is Rom. Ciao, ciao.